What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today guys I want to talk about the Iron Banner questline and give you guys my honest opinion on whether or not it was worth it. Also giving you guys an update on a glitch a video I posted a few days back which helps you literally skip the last part of the Iron Banner quest. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so I've got the Iron Banner quest done. Basically there's five steps to it and each step gives you an armor piece. And to be honest guys, some of the steps in this quest are absolutely ridiculous. I mean mainly I think it's step three where you have to get super kills and something else and grenade kills and the grenade kills on a hunter is heartbreaking i mean it took me so many games i can't believe it. i almost come to the point of not even wanting to go any further i almost didn't do it but i am glad i did and i explained to you guys in a second about why i'm glad now so once you get past the grenade part uh, which will take you probably the longest part of the whole quest you then have to get auto rifle kills, scout rifle kills, sword kills, fusion kills and sniper kills which is relatively quick. I know sword kills sounds a bit bad but it's literally like 20% maybe per kill. Well is it 10? Could be 20, could be 15, could be 10 but it goes, I did it in like two games so it went, I just camped in heavy spawn. But other than that, that part was easy and the last step requires you to go on win streaks uh, in, in Iron Banner. So you literally have to go on a win streak. Now playing solo it's difficult. Playing in a team of two or three, it's still difficult. Playing in a six man, you shouldn't really be having a problem if any of you are good. But I was doing this solo or more or less a one or two team and it was, it, 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 it's, it gets hard. You know how Iron Banner could go, you come across six stacks all day long, we just absolutely murder you. So I posted a video the other day of how you can skip this part of the quest, which what you have to do is you have to be on a two win streak before you can actually glitch the quest line. I didn't state that in my video, but I did edit the video description to make people aware. But I'll just clear it up in this video right here. You have to be on a two win streak before you can do the glitch. So go get yourself on a two win streak in Iron Banner and simply back out. Load into the tower, as you can see on screen now me doing this, and simply change character. Come back to your main and then you'll see progress will have gone up. Do this about three or four times and bam, the quest is done. No more Iron Banner. <laughs> That's unless you want to do it on, another, on the other characters, which I am definitely not doing this time around. Maybe next time when Iron Banner comes back, I'll probably do it on my Titan and Warlock, but I just ain't got it in me people to go back through the quest. So would I say the quest was worth it in the end for me, playing probably, I don't know, 30, 40, 50, 60 games of Iron Banner. I'm not even sure how long it went. It felt like weeks. It felt like, it felt like years, people. But what it, was it worth it? Well, for me it was, and I'll explain why. Since Opelis come, I fell in love with sniping in the game. I mean, I ain't the best sniper in the world, but I fell in love with sniping. I first got the Beloved from the Menage Array. Um, I got two variants of it, and this one here is my favorite, no distractions and quick draw. But I've now got the Revoker. And it's this sudden urge of sniping for me Dropped because Opulence, the Revoker, the Pinnacle Weapon, we saw way more snipers in PvP, so I thought I'd join in the fun. Now, I've never sniped in Destiny really before. I mean, in D1, I used the Nolan Beyond for a short period of time, but I've never really used anything with a scope. In D2, the Beloved is more or less the first time I've gone into PvP with a sniper rifle. So yes, I finally got my Revoker, so if I'm rocking Revoker and Miss Recluse, which is an absolute beast, or anything else as a secondary with my Revoker, the gear I was rewarded from this quest is absolutely perfect. So let's check it out. We can see on my helmet, I've got enhanced uh, sniper rifle targeting and rocket launch reverse. Now the sniper rifle targeting is absolutely amazing. Greatly improved target acquisition, accuracy and aim down sight speed for sniper rifles. We also have, which you can switch between, a remote connection. Gain bonus super energy and sniper rifle kill. So pretty cool. And I can either if I want to use a shotgun with my sniper, which I probably won't because they both take uh, special. I can because I've got shotgun reserve too. And using, well, yeah, you know how it goes, people. You know how it goes. I don't have to explain these perks. You know what they are. And then on my gauntlets, I've got sniper rifle loader, which reloads quicker, and sniper rifle scavenger, which is always a bonus. On my chest piece, enhanced unflinching sniper aim with special ammo finder, which doesn't really work in PvP, but still. Um, so yes, it greatly reduces flinch from incoming fire while aiming sniper rifles. Now you know flinch 
in PvP is absolutely craziness. That's why I love this beloved over the one with Snapshot because no distractions really helps me flinch. My legs ain't perfect for snipers, but they are great for my my uh, recluse. Well, not well, they're decent for my recluse. And I have slightly faster ready and stall speed for energy weapons, which is pretty cool. And then I have on its submachine guns get bonus reserves when you pick up ammo. You don't really you you don't really come to the stages of recluse unless you're on high wind streak or kill streak so of actually needing ammo. But hey, and my uh, class item I have more sniper rifle reserves and this is pretty cool because I get between two and three and pick up with two sniper rifle reserves so I can't really uh, complain about that so yeah guys my armor for me with iron banner was definitely worth it kissing the way I play pvp with a sniper rifle always going in head first so yeah my iron banner armor my iron banner rewards from the quest were definitely worth it so yeah for me 100% but the grind was crazy and you actually can't determine the roles you're going to get and the gear you will get rewarded from this quest. So, hey, but for me, it was worth it for you. Mm, mm, I, mm, I don't know. I don't know. But hey, guys, I finally got through it in the end. Let me know down below in that comment section if you've done this, if you got past the grenade kills. Um, and hey, if you need to use a glitch to do the last step, go ahead and do it, people. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Iron Banner for me is officially over until it next comes around. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.